Okay, now we're going to take the pork from the other day when we roasted it. Remember, we put um, the garlic and the onions in there uh, already. So what I'm going to do is put that pork, and here's the onions I strained out of the juice that I used in the masa. And we're just going to put this in the food processor, and we're going to process it until it's smooth. We don't want it too terribly smooth, but we want it smooth enough. Let me give it a second here. Uh, let's put it on pulse for now so I can control it. If you have a KitchenAid and you have the blade, the meat blade in there, you can use that too. But I don't have that, so I'm going to use my processor. <laughs> smoother. We want to be able to make it into almost like a paste, but we want some lumps in there for flavor. And I did throw one of the chilies in there just to keep that flavor going. I also threw a couple bay leaves in there, not the small ones, but all right, let's give it a try. Yeah, this is good. This is a nice Consistency. See, it's kind of pasty. You can like make it like Play-Doh or something, and don't make food people. But let's taste it. Yep, that works. Good. All right. So that's ready. Don't forget to take the blade out, and you can use this as a um, dish for scraping. Okay. And there you go. Let's get rid of the blade, and then I'll show you how to make the chili sauce and how to assemble these, and we're going to have some nice tamales for lunch today. Okay, now the next step is the chili sauce. These are the red peppers that I showed you the other day, the Mexican red peppers. You're also, you're going to take four of those. You can see, put them in a saucepan. Now, I'm going to do a little cheat here, okay? I've got my cutting board and my knife. What I'm going to do is just cut the top off of that and empty the seeds out. I will put them back into the saucepan for the flavor, because that's where all the, the flavor is stored, is in the seeds. But we just want the skins when we're done. So what we're gonna, I'm going to do is strip them now, then boil them up. You're also going to add two dried ancho peppers. Those are the dark peppers. Uh, one half teaspoon of toasted cumin seeds, uh, one, uh, two cloves of garlic that are crushed, and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. I'm going to get those ingredients in here, and then we'll, we'll start cooking this down. And we're going to make the sauce to go with the uh, meat stuffing. Okay, this is the common man kitchen, so don't don't forget. I make shortcuts and make adjustments. All right, here are the peppers, the cumin, and the garlic. And I just covered them with just enough water to cover. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Uh, I'm going to set that aside to cool. Um, this is not the traditional way to make the chili sauce, but it all ends up in the same place anyway, and these flavors can marry together very nicely in here. Once this is uh, done and the peppers are nice and soft, we're going to put it into a blender, and we're going to make a sauce out of it, and then we'll use that for our sauce. I'll be back in a few. Okay, here's my nice chili mixture, and like I said, I didn't have any ancho peppers of my own. So what I did was I adapted and used some, um, yeah. Okay, here's my sauce. Um, I didn't have any ancho peppers, but I did have some um, chipotle, so I put that in there, along with the Mexican red peppers, the garlic, and the water. Uh, it's all boiled down, and it's cooling off a bit. I'm going to put this into the food processor in a little bit after it's cooled down a little bit more. And then we're going to make the uh, filling, the chili sauce for the filling. And we'll be back in a few minutes to finish that off. 